Hey, what's up, y'all? Nick Presley here, formerly incarcerated activist, Center County, Pennsylvania, and on a steering committee for the 320 Coalition. I was asked to put together a short video to talk about people who inspire me um, for Black History Month, whether they could be historical or, or current day. And I decided to, I had a little bit of trouble with this, I'm not gonna lie, not because of a lack of people, but because of so many potential folks that I could choose from. I mean, I'm inspired by people on a daily basis um, in these in this modern era. OK, um, I mean, we could talk about people uh, across the entire country, you know, um, when we talk about people at the forefront of this fight for racial justice and in, in, in many forms that it takes, uh, whether you're talking about Black Lives Matter. First thing I think of is I think of Ashton. P. Woods in Houston, Texas, a friend of mine, a candidate for office on a couple different occasions, and a firecracker. One thing I'll never forget that I've taken from Ashton and I've taken it everywhere I've been is that we need to know who to be angry at so that we can change things. We need to make sure we're angry at the right people and the right, and then that helps us with our messaging when it comes to actually making the change. Then I think about folks like Eliza Darris out in Minnesota. Eliza Darris uh, was at the forefront of, of handling some of the uh, logistics and making sure people were kept safe during the rioting in Minneapolis um, this past summer. Uh, Eli is formerly incarcerated as well and, and, you know, really one of the leaders when it comes to decarceration efforts uh, across the state, the, the entire country. But, you know, I've got a ton of other friends who are also being involved in that. And, and sorry if I forget you uh, at all. But, you know, I think about um, uh, uh, Dubard uh, McGriff out in Delaware, out in Delaware, doing some of the big, great work that we'd hope to kind of replicate here in Pennsylvania at some point in time. Or I think about Rich Griffin out in Michigan. Michigan, who's really doing solid work, or Khalil Rushdon down in Arizona. You know, I think about Dashika Ruffin, who was at the forefront of helping make sure that the Democrats took back the Senate this year so that we can potentially get some major changes on the federal level done when it comes to racial justice or my pet project, which is uh, ending mass incarceration. Um, and that's just some just some names just shouting out across the state. But, you know, even here in Pennsylvania, there are uh, people who are at the forefront, impacted individuals who are at the forefront of these fights, at the forefront of making sure that we institute change. And I think about people like Bill Cobb, my mentor, the person who got me involved in this kind of work in the first place um, out there. And I hear he's uh, coordinating judges races around the state right now. I think about some of our, our lesser known, but still formerly incarcerated folks who are out there doing just the day to day stuff. You know, Divine Lipscomb right here in Center County with the Restorative Justice Initiative. You know, it, he, it is a real pleasure to get the opportunity to collaborate and work with some of his caliber on a daily basis, you know. Or I think about Tierra Williams here who, who, with the 320 Coalition. I think about some of the great leaders we have, the 320 Coalition. I look around the rest of the state and I see formerly incarcerated and, and otherwise impacted leaders on many levels, you know. I think about folks like like uh, Will Wagner out in out in Pittsburgh, you know, who who uh, has done his time and is now currently looking at other ways to give back to his community. I think about even some of our elected officials. You know, I think about Chris Rabb and I think about uh, uh, Sharif Street. And I think about Senator Jake Wheatley and I think about uh, someone who I hope to to actually uh, be a little to, to get to work with a little bit more in the future. Uh, when I think of Rick Krajewski, you know, I was a big fan of his before he got elected. Now that he's in the legislature, we've got we've got some big hopes and plans for him. And then, you know, let's not be remiss. I've named a lot of men. There are women who are doing this work at such a high level. And, you know, even in some cases at a higher level than some of the men, not that there's a comparison to be made there. But I think about, you know, our elected officials in Pennsylvania, like Summer Lee um, and, and Joanna McClinton, who are really starting to pave the way for some of the work that needs to be done as we move away from this old system of things into a new system of things. And see, that's what we're seeing here. Right. We're seeing an old system, the last gas of this old system dying out while a new system is working its way and, and forcing itself to be born. And some of those black leaders that I just named are at the forefront of it. So keep your eyes open, America. Keep your eyes open, Center County. Keep your eyes open, Pennsylvania. These are just some of the names that you're going to see popping off in the future. Thanks.